hello students in this session uh, we have to learn uh, mining and uh, task of miners in uh, blockchain uh, or you can say bitcoin network so uh, the aim of this session is to learn mining and task of uh, miners uh, in the bitcoin uh, network so we are studying the unit 2 uh, unit 2 uh, contains the syllabus of uh, bitcoin this uh, unit is related to the bitcoin uh, network uh, we have studied uh, creation of coins double spending problem then we have studied bitcoin scripts also uh, bitcoin peer to peer network this is the network similar to the uh, blockchain network then we have studied how the transactions are processed in the uh, bitcoin network uh, then in this uh, session uh, we will try to learn uh, the block mining and task of miners in the uh, bitcoin uh, network uh, so in previous session we have studied the structure of uh, uh, bitcoin uh, uh, structure of block in the bitcoin uh, network uh, the block uh, is similar to the block in the uh, blockchain network uh, so this uh, block uh, contains various field what is the significance of block uh, so whenever um, uh, the transaction is processed uh, the block is created and the block is added in the uh, blockchain network uh, so this block still uh, needs to be mined uh, this block uh, this block needs to be verified uh, need to, needs to be validated uh, before inserting into the uh, blockchain network. The block contains uh, various fields. Uh, the first field is uh, the first field is block size of uh, four bytes. Uh, this is the size of the block. Then block header. Block header has several fields uh, that we have studied in the previous session also. This includes the fields from the uh, block header. Then transaction counter. Uh, this field contains the number of uh, transactions in the uh, block and uh, uh, the block also contains the transaction all transactions in the block block may contain uh, several transactions uh, so the structure of block contains various fields uh, block size of 4 bytes block header uh, of 80 bytes then transaction counter uh, of 1 to 9 bytes uh, this is the total number of transactions in the block and transactions uh, the all transactions are included in the uh, block uh, the transaction uh, the size is variable but it depends on the number of transactions uh, in the uh, block uh, then we have studied the structure of block header in the previous session also uh, the structure of block header contains various fields for security purpose uh, it contains the version number version number of 4 bytes uh, you can see uh, uh, then it contains uh, previous block hash hash of the previous block it is of 32 bytes then it also contains Merkle root uh, you know the significance of Merkle root uh, Merkle root is a, a tree uh, tree of hash values and uh, if uh, any uh, transaction is changed uh, the hash value will change and Merkle root will also uh, change uh, so to verify the transaction to validate, to validate the transaction it is not necessary to uh, check all the transactions uh, only by verifying the Merkle root is uh, enough because if any transaction is changed uh, then hash value will change and it will change also the uh, Merkle root uh, that we have studied in the uh, previous uh, sessions uh, then it contains the timestamp Mm, timestamp uh, gives the information uh, when the uh, block is created uh, then difficulty target uh, this is for proof of work this is the mathematical puzzle uh, this puzzle needs to be uh, solved uh, uh, during the mining process uh, then nonce uh, nonce is also for uh, validation of the block uh, this is for mining purpose uh, so these are the uh, different uh, fields of 
block header that we have studied in the uh, previous session also. Uh, then block header contains version. It indicates the version number of Bitcoin protocol previous block hash. It contains the hash of the uh, uh, previous block in the chain uh, that we have studied in the previous sessions also. Then this block header contains Merkle root. Uh, Merkle root, we know the significance of the uh, Merkle root. Uh, so in this Merkle root, hash, hashes of the transaction in a block, uh, this Merkle root is formed from the hashes, hashes of the transaction. And if transaction is modified in the block, uh, then that, that, uh, that it will uh, it will not match with the Merkle root. Uh, and uh, if we want to consistency, uh, if we want to validate the transaction, uh, if we want to uh, uh, see that the, whether the black is tampered or not, uh, then uh, verifying the Merkle root is enough. It is not necessary uh, to verify the individual transaction because block may contains uh, number of transactions. Uh, so uh, instead of verifying the num uh, transactions one by one, uh, verifying the Merkle root is enough. Then timestamp. Uh, this timestamp gives the information about the creation of the block. Then difficulty target. This uh, difficulty target uh, field is used by the uh, proof of work mechanism in the uh, consensus mechanism uh, when the transactions are uh, validated. Then nonce value. Uh, this is the random number. Uh, this is also used uh, during the uh, mining process. Uh, this is also uh, uh, this is for uh, uh, we, uh, this, uh, we have call most of the time it is the uh, puzzle uh, uh, that puzzle needs to be solved by the uh, miners miners or uh, nodes uh, to verify the uh, transaction block header contains number of field we have seen in the previous uh, uh, slide uh, version number previous block as merkle root timestamp difficulty target and nonce this all we have studied in the previous session also Uh, then you can see uh, this figure. Uh, in this figure, um, how the uh, blocks uh, blocks in uh, block in a block ch uh, chain are linked uh, through the hash values, and uh, uh, it uh, it also shows uh, the contents of block header and, and transaction transaction data structure. Uh, so you can see the fields uh, one by one. Uh, there are uh, blocks. Uh, uh, this is the block one. Uh, then you can see this is block uh, 2, uh, this is block uh, 3 and this is uh, next block, block number uh, 4 and how these uh, blocks are linked to each other uh, uh, you can see uh, these blocks are linked through the uh, block header, the block header contains the hash, hash of the previous block so you can see how these blocks are linked to each other. Uh, this uh, block is linked to the uh, previous block. Now you can see this block is linked, uh, this uh, block which is linked to this previous block, this block is linked to the uh, previous block. So in this blo way, these blocks are uh, linked to each other. Uh, then you can see uh, the, you can see the block header field. Uh, this is the uh, block header uh, which contains a version as seen, we have seen in the previous uh, uh, slide then it contains uh, previous block hash uh, then it contains Merkle root you can see this uh, Merkle root uh, this is the Merkle uh, tree uh, this const uh, tree is constructed from the uh, hash of the transactions uh, then this block also contains, uh, this block header also contains timestamp, it contains a difficulty target, uh, this is for proof of work, uh, then this uh, nonce value, uh, this is for also mining purpose. Uh, then you can see uh, the transaction, uh, the transaction block, this is the transaction block. Uh, this transaction block uh, uh, contains various fields, uh, you can see. Uh, uh, it contains the uh, uh, fields in the transaction data structure. We have studied the uh, transaction data structure uh, in uh, previous session. Uh, 
so you can see uh, this uh, uh, contains a transaction hash uh, you can see this transaction hash uh, then it contains index of the output uh, then what transaction contains transaction contains unlocking uh, uh, script locking script uh, then outputs uh, inputs uh, that are the part of this uh, transaction data structure then it contains uh, unlocking script uh, size uh, what is the size of unlocking script uh, then it also contains unlocking uh, script and sequence number uh, then you can uh, see uh, it contains uh, lock time uh, then uh, it contains uh, a locking script uh, you can see this is the uh, size of the locking script uh, so these are the different uh, fields then amount of bitcoin value so these are the uh, different uh, fields of this uh, transaction uh, data structure uh, locking script unlocking script size of the locking script inputs and outputs uh, number of outputs uh, yeah, so uh, these are the different fields and in this figure uh, you can show, uh, see uh, how the blocks are linked to uh, each other the blocks are uh, linked to each other uh, via the uh, uh, hash values so in this way uh, this how uh, uh, different fields are there and how the uh, bitcoin network peer to peer to network how the uh, uh, blocks are, are stored and how the blocks are linked to each other then what is the uh, uh, what are the contents uh, stored in the block header and what is transaction data structure that we have studied in the previous sessions also uh, then main aim of this session is to learn the uh, mining uh, this mining is a vast topic there are different uh, 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 subtopics like proof of work how the proof of work uh, mechanism um, works uh, so uh, if we try to explain all this concept in this session itself uh, then you may get overloaded uh, so uh, we will just take the introduction of mining what are uh, what is mining and what is the task of miner uh, in this uh, session and we will keep uh, the uh, proof of work and rest of the topics uh, for the uh, coming session so what is mining uh, mining is a process uh, mining is a process by which by which new blocks are added in the blockchain so mining is the validation process and uh, uh, mining is the task of validation of blocks so whenever the uh, new transaction will happen in the blockchain uh, the block is created and that block needs to be verified that block needs to be validated uh, by the miners miners are nothing but the nodes in the uh, bitcoin network or maintain network or blockchain network uh, so blocks contain transactions block contains transactions that are validated uh, that transactions are validated via the mining process uh, by the mining nodes mining nodes or we can say miners on the uh, bitcoin network uh, the, uh, once the block is mined uh, once that block is verified uh, then that block is added to the blockchain uh, which keeps the uh, blockchain growing uh, so uh, after adding the uh, block in the blockchain and the blockchain will grow size of the blockchain will increase uh, so this process is uh, uh, this mining process is nothing but the uh, proof of work uh, or consensus mechanism uh, where miners compete to uh, uh, each other uh, to find a number to find a number which is less than the difficulty target of the network so this is the mathematical puzzle uh, they, uh, in this uh, mechanism, uh, this miner has to find a number that is less than the difficulty target of the network. So, what is this concept that we will try to learn in the uh, coming sessions? Uh, so, uh, the difficulty uh, in finding the correct value. Uh, so, you can see the difficulty in finding the correct value. Uh, it is called, uh, this process is also called sometimes uh, solving the mathematical puzzle. Uh, uh, so uh, it, uh, this is the mechanism to ensure that the required uh, so big, uh, for solving this mathematical puzzle uh, required resources required resources uh, in terms of computation are, uh, are spent uh, uh, by the miners miners will spend their resources time uh, for mining process 
and for that purpose miners will get the uh, reward uh, so uh, for uh, solving this proof of work uh, mathematical puzzles uh, puzzle uh, miners will get the reward uh, for validation so mining uh, so there are some uh, concept uh, uh, for mining uh, uh, in the blockchain network or we can say bitcoin network uh, so uh, for mining one block uh, when the one block is created uh, for that purpose uh, the bitcoin networks uh, takes uh, approximately 10 minutes uh, to create the uh, new block so you can see roughly uh, roughly new block is one new block is created uh, or one new block is mined every uh, 10 minutes to control the frequency of the generation of the uh, bitcoins so to control the uh, frequency of generating the bitcoins in the blockchain uh, bitcoin network uh, every block is created uh, in approximately uh, 10 minutes uh, it will take 10 minutes to create the uh, new blocks so miners are rewarded miners are rewarded with new coins if and when they discover the new blocks when the miners will discover the new block uh, by solving the proof of work mathematical puzzle uh, the miners will get the uh, reward uh, for mining the block for validation of the block and new blocks are created at an approximate uh, fixed rate of every 10 minutes uh, you try to understand you remember this concept yeah, every block is uh, created uh, um, after uh, fixed rate of uh, 10 minutes uh, approximate fixed rate so for creating the new block uh, this bitcoin network will take the approximate uh, 10 minutes 10 minutes are required to create the uh, new block so this is the foundation uh, kept uh, on this uh, bitcoin network uh, then rate of creation of new, boy, uh, new bitcoins uh, the rate of creation of the new bitcoins uh, decreases by 50 percent every uh, 2 lakh and 10,000 uh, blocks. Uh, so after creation of every uh, 2 lakh and 10,000 block, uh, the rate of creation of uh, new uh, bitcoins decreases by 50%. Uh, and this uh, takes approximately uh, roughly 4 years. Uh, 4 years time is required. Uh, after that, uh, the rate of creation of blocks will decrease by uh, 50%. Then uh, the rate of creation of new boy uh, Bitcoin decreases by 50% after every 2 lakh and 10,000 blocks roughly after uh, 4 years. So when Bitcoin was initially introduced, uh, when this Bitcoin network is initially introduced, uh, the block reward was 50 Bitcoins. The miners will get the 50 Bitcoins uh, for validation. Uh, then in 2012, uh, this was reduced to 25 Bitcoins. Uh, so after every four years, uh, after every four years, the reward, what the reward the miners will get, uh, that rewards will be decreased by 50 percent. Uh, so in July uh, 2016, uh, there was further reduction, and the miners will get 12.5 points uh, for uh, mining of the block. Uh, and then uh, next reduction, then next reduction is estimated to be on. Uh, July uh, 4, 2000. So that means uh, uh, after uh, in the month of uh, July, the miners will get uh, 6.25, half of 12.5. Uh, so after every year, uh, the mining fee is uh, after every four years. After every four years, uh, the whatever the reward the miners will get, that reward is uh, reduced by uh, 50%. Uh, so after every year, every four years, this reward falls, or you can say this reward reduces uh, to 50 percent. So this is the binding. Uh, these things are hard coded in the Bitcoin uh, network. So uh, the main concept you have to understand: the mining reward get reduced after every. Uh, four years uh, by 50 percent uh, so uh, when the bitcoin started in 2009 the mining uh, reward used to be 
50 bitcoins. Uh, then in November 2012, uh, it has reduced to 25 bitcoins. Uh, then uh, currently it is 12.5 uh, bitcoins per block uh, since July uh, 2016. And again in uh, July uh, 2020, uh, this uh, uh, rewards uh, are reduced. This reward is reduced from 12.5 uh, to the 6.25 BTC bitcoins per block. After every four years, uh, these uh, rewards are reduced by 50 uh, percent. That concept uh, we have to remember. We have to understand. Uh, so this mechanism is hard coded. Hard coded. Uh, this mechanism is hard coded in the Bitcoin to regulate the control and limit the supply of uh, Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, uh, they have kept the restriction how many number of Bitcoins can be in circulation. Uh, they have kept the rest restriction uh, after how many, uh, how much time the block is created. Uh, for creating the block approximately 10 minutes are required that we have studied in the uh, previous uh, sli slide. Also they have kept the, uh, kept the restriction how many number of bitcoins may be in circulation. Uh, so we know that there, there may be maximum 21 uh, million bitcoins. Uh, million or billion we can see, we will see in the pre, uh, next slide. Uh, so these are the some restrictions. Uh, these restrictions are put on this uh, bitcoin uh, network. Uh, so task of miners. Uh, so miner, miner is mining, miner is nothing but the node, uh, node on the Bitcoin network. Uh, this node has different functions. Uh, this node has to uh, validate the block. Uh, they can initiate the transaction. Uh, they have to validate the transaction. And for validating the transaction, they will use the proof of work mechanism, or you can say we call it as a consensus mechanism. And for verifying the, for validating the blocks. Uh, these uh, miners will get the uh, rewards. Uh, so we will see uh, what are the tasks of miners uh, one by one. Uh, so first uh, task of the miner is uh, syncing up with the network. Uh, so once a, a new miner, once a new miner or we can say new uh, node uh, joins to the Bitcoin network, uh, what task uh, this uh, node has to do? Uh, first node has to download. Uh, node has to download the copy of the ledger or we can say uh, copy of the blockchain uh, at their local uh, uh, machine. Uh, so, uh, so first the miner what the task will do miner when the miner will join the uh, Bitcoin network uh, it will download it will download the blockchain by requesting the uh, historical blocks from the other nodes. So whatever the blockchain uh, that blockchain it will download from the uh, uh, other nodes. Uh, this is the first uh, task the miner has to do. Uh, then the important task of uh, miner is the second uh, task the miner has to perform transaction validation. We know that uh, the transactions are broadcasted on the Bitcoin network. Uh, then miners will pick up the transactions and miners will validate the transaction. For validating the transaction they will use the uh, mechanism. They use the nonce value. Uh, then we have studied the difficulty target. These are the two um, uh, values and they use the proof of work mechanism uh, for transaction verification. Uh, so the second task of the miner is transaction validation. Uh, transactions are broadcasted on the network and these transactions are validated by the full nodes uh, by, veri by verifying and validating the signatures and outputs. By verifying the signatures and by verifying the outputs and by solving the uh, proof of work puzzle, uh, these miners will uh, validate the uh, transaction. So this is the first uh, task uh, that uh, miners has to do. We have studied there are uh, different rules for verification of the transaction. So before creating the transaction, uh, before creating the block, a transaction needs to be verified. Uh, transaction validation and verification is different thing that we have studied in the previous session. Uh, there are different rules for verification of the transaction. Uh, so after transaction verification, the next task is block uh, validation. Uh, so block validation, miners and full nodes can start validating the 
block whenever the miners will receive the block uh, they will start validating the block uh, by evaluating this block against certain rules they this miners will evaluate uh, evaluate this block against certain rules and uh, that the verification of each transaction is in the block uh, is uh, done by the uh, bro this miners and for that purpose non they use the non value non value in the uh, block uh, then next uh, task of miner uh, create a new, new block uh, miners will can create the new block miners will create the new block by combining the transaction by combining the transaction by putting the transactions in the block uh they will create the miners will create the block and they can broadcast this block uh miners can broadcast the block in the uh, blockchain for verification for uh, verification by other nodes uh this is the fourth task of this uh, miners in the blockchain and then next task is uh, perform proof of work uh this task is uh, the core of the mining process uh, proof of work uh, for uh, proof of work mechanism is also called a mechanism of solving a puzzle sometimes uh, we use a term uh, solving a puzzle uh, so for verification for validation of uh, this block uh, this uh, block will solve a, uh, this nodes will solve a mathematical puzzle that means uh, they will try to find a value uh, less than the target uh, difficulty target Uh, so this process is called uh, process of solving the mathematical puzzle and uh, once uh, uh, then next uh, last uh, last task of this uh, miners is uh, fetch reverse so uh, once a node solves the puzzle once the node will solve the proof of work puzzle uh, it immediately broadcast the results uh, to the other nodes uh, for validation uh, and if other nodes uh, accept this uh, changes accept the block once the block is accepted the miner is rewarded with the uh, 12.5 uh, bitcoins uh, this was up to 2020 july 2020 after july 2020 uh, this rewards are reduced to 6.25 uh, this reward was from 2016 to 2020 it was 12.5 bitcoins uh, for validation now after july 2020 it has reduced to the 6.25 and in 2024 uh, it will be again reduced uh, to the uh, 3.1.25 so after every 4 years uh, this uh, rewards will reduce by 50% and that we have studied in the uh, previous session so in this uh, session students we have studied Uh, the main aim of uh, this session was uh, studying the mining uh, what is mining and what is the task of miner in this uh, uh, bitcoin uh, network uh, that we have studied uh, so uh, uh, this is the end of uh, session uh, thanks for watching session goodbye